Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems like it. Uh, thought I had more accumulators. Let's see. Yeah, 2.4k. Have I dropped all of the solar panels so far? Yes. Let's just put some more over here. Is that a media? It is too. Um, that took fewer blocks than I thought it would. I think I'll run this up here for completeness though. Hmm, excuse me. Still got tons of uh, substations. They've all been placed by the looks of it. Let's grab the rest of the accumulators. Actually, not even close. Um, why don't I make some room? Still three stacks. Oh, and these ones as well. Fair enough. Surprised how long the last 12 bits of stone took to pick up there. Okay. What do we got? Uh, 50 times 10, 500,000, 2,000. It was like 2.4k in that one box, wasn't it? Looks like we're not having any trouble with power already. Of course, it would help if we were actually doing anything with it. Um, run out of rocket fuel, we're going to need to do something about that. But what I can do while the bots do some building is figure out some oops uh some cannons to deliver the items that we need for this planet uh so let's see that's actually six cannons Copper explosives, heat shielding, LDS, coal, steel plate. Um, where am I going to put them? I think we're going to have to do some bot things. Why don't we do this? And put it in a chest. And then... Um, 
need six of these. Where are we going to fit them? Over here? Actually, we can do it all here. Quest a chest. Actually, i got to figure out how I'm going to do the logic for this one. Let's move down here so the bots can do something. And the way I set this one up. Hagen DC chest. Okay. We're sending a signal of whichever resource. We're sending a signal of the appropriate resource when we do want a cannon to send that resource. Okay. Therefore... It's going to look a little bit like this. Filter inserter... Oh, we could just do an enable disable. Um, what's the channel that we're using over here? Hagen DC chest. Actually, I think I need to copy that. I might spell it wrong. Hey, Zephyrcat. Thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How you all doing today? And there goes the bot. Factorio, fantastic. A hey, Veldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Soulburn, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well as well. Seif just killed all life on his planet. Uh, that seems a bit harsh. H A G E N. Every time I try to click on this to make sure. I'm copy-pasting it right, it just drops out. Plague rockets, they are interesting. That's one way to put it. Uh, so, we need ourselves a dish over here. Um, let's just put it here. And it needs to be Hagen DC chest. A mine mousecraft. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, so the conditions for each of these are going to be uh, that the given resource is greater than zero. Heat shielding. Uh, LDS. And thank you for the follow, uh, Bowers. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so we've got LDS greater than zero. Heat shielding greater than zero. It's on the green wire, I think. Let's give the bot something to do. And it is the green wire. Okay. Green wire goes... That doesn't look natural, but okay. Don't suppose we can fit this over here. We can. Let's move the substation a bit. And... Here. Can't quite fit that. This'll do. Alright, so the other resources were... I'll double check, but I think it's copper plate, explosives, uh, coal and steel. There we go. Copper plate... 
explosives, coal, and steel. At least I've already got that tick, okay. And then... Connect here, connect here. Oh, that reaches. Fantastic. Alright, uh, that should not be LDS, that should be copper plate. Can we remove the LDS, please? And this as well. Uh, explosives. Coal. And steel. Do you share your space science blueprints? Um, I haven't yet, but I certainly can. I haven't uh, exactly finalized it, but... Well, if you really want, I could upload this one. <laughs> Um, or I could take a few minutes to cut the actual... Wait, no, I've got these, haven't I? Uh, oops. I think we're missing one here. I didn't make a separate one for astronomic science packs. But I could definitely post these in a hurry. Uh... Well, that one's only for the sushi spaghetti. Uh, but yeah, I'm happy to post that or tidy it up a bit first and post it if you like. The single parts were better? Yeah. Um, where were we? We've got... Oh, this needs to be set to Hagen DC chest, and then we need to set targets. Not on this planet. Uh, Hagen. Wait, how do I... Hagen. What? No. I'm trying to... There we go. Oh, I see. Hagen. And... Chest goes here. So that one... It looks like is ready. And that is now disabled. Good. Hagen. I wish it wouldn't target me by default. Um, that looks right. And that's the LDS. I would copy-paste from here to here, but... What's going to happen to the copper in here if I do that? Maybe I should just stand next to the chest before I do these. It's almost done anyway. Oh, I've run out of the accumulators. Good timing, I guess. Let's grab ourselves the rest of these uh, buckets. I don't think we turned this on yet. So these three are done. Beacon goes here. 
I can here and yeah. Okay. And that should be it. So we've got all our stuff, we've got delivery cannon capsules, and we just need a target back on Nalvis. Um, let me just grab the accumulators first, and start down this way I guess. Oh, those are already done. Let's just keep going till we... Oh, there we go. Okay, so on Nalvis, I would like the core fragments to be received over here somewhere. Um, this is probably fine. Although, yeah, I thought I remembered there being a reason not to do this. I could do five different resources on each of these, except I would have to turn it into a loop. So that... Things don't get stuck like this. I could remove the double belts and... Just have this go here and then come back around. But I don't really want to limit the throughput that much. We could easily do... Two resources if we limited each of these to half a belt. I don't know that I necessarily want to do that either. Uh, I think we should just make more stations. So this one can be cryonite core fragments. All right then. Uh, let's do that. Right after I placed myself somewhere that needs accumulators. All right, so now this target, this one, um, and we need to get Cryonite core fragment. Wait. I'm pretty sure we don't have regular core fragments being sent here yet. Yeah, no, that's fine. So this... I did set this up the same way, right? Each equals one. Each equal to one output each one. Yeah. So if there's zero of something that's actually in storage and it's included on this list... Then we output that. So what's this called? Now this DC rail receiver number one. Um, that's what we're setting this to. And this thing. Core fragment cryonite. And away it goes. Fantastic. Right, so when we get back to Narvis, we're going to have to make a core fragment processing area for cryonite core fragments, which is going to be pretty simple because 
we've already got the regular core fragment processing area. This is already much bigger than it needs to be for now. Um, at least I'm pretty sure it is. Uh-oh. That doesn't look good. How did this happen? You got some stone stuck in you. Just go back to the depot. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, we've already got a system that'll process uh, regular core fragments. No doubt it's going to follow the same pattern whereby we break down the cryonite core fragment, we get probably cryonite and stone and then a core fragment. Your next train to that station will get contaminated with iron unless it's iron train. Um, we've actually got a system in place. It's a bit vexing because the issue that we just got there is actually, uh, right. Okay, I'm going to have to visit that in person. Um, because the problem is, there's actually a circuit in place here. Designed to keep that from happening, but it has a rare use case where that doesn't work. And I haven't been able to catch it in the act and find out why it's doing that. It's got a precise loading system so that you don't get inserter arms sticking out when it's finished. But somehow that did happen, or there was already something in the train when it went there. Also, Tura, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. The inserters had iron on them. Yeah, that's the problem. So basically what I've got is a system whereby, depending on how many more items we need to put in the train, um, we set the stack sizes and whether or not they're on or off at all of the different filter inserters so that we end up putting precisely the right amount into the train. I actually simplified it quite a bit. It made it ever so slightly slower, but it really doesn't matter. Um, it's literally just like one more swing of the inserter arms at the end of the loading procedure, whereby instead of needing to be super precise with the count, um, at the end we just go to a stack size of one and a single inserter per cargo wagon uh, for the last little bit. So it should be impossible. Maybe I didn't update that one with that new system. Uh, but yeah, we're almost finished on this planet, so we'll head back and check that out. Oh, but before we do that, we need to set up an oil system because we didn't bring enough rocket fuel to refuel here. In future, I think, unless it's impossible to do on the planet, I'll just rely on uh, tapping an oil patch. Um, we could store 55% more fuel per stack using vulcanite blocks uh, to, event to turn into liquid rocket fuel to get home, but it would still be a lot of cargo space to bring enough fuel to go back. Alright, is that all of our accumulators at last? LTN has the locked slots per wagon setting to avoid that. It only loads up to a certain amount of slots, so no leftovers would be had. Um, we could do something like that, but I don't like to waste the space. 
Is this, um... Oh, there it goes. Unfortunately, I can't just ride the cannon back home. Although that would be cool. Uh, so. The nearest oil, I think, is down here. If not up this way. It's about the same, really. Let's go place some pump jacks. Wait, why have I got 12 pump jacks? Surely I brought more. I would imagine I would bring one stack. Apparently not. Or maybe we lost that many of the pump jacks? That seems weird. I didn't realize Cryonite glowed in the dark. A little bit. Where's the oil? All the way up here. Then... Is that very often? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And pipe. I guess we'll do this over here. Sucks. Good day, sir. El Pancho. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, now I find myself realizing I have to run power all the way back there. We'll do that later. So, oil refinery, and why not give it some prods? We need water as well. Uh, where is the water? All the way over there. I don't suppose there's water next to oil somewhere. Don't tell me I'm going to have to manufacture more pipes. This is going to turn into a whole thing, isn't it? That oil and water is relatively close. What a nuisance. Alright, I guess we're going to have to... end up making some more pipes. Most likely. Um, pump. Offshore pump. Let me just check how this lines up. Right about here. It's way down there. Okay. How much further is it? Okay. That would have been a bit quicker. Excuse me. Um, okay. That goes there. And then... Probably going to need some water for some other stuff. Like cracking. Cool. 
And I guess a bit of storage wouldn't go astray. No, it's probably overkill. Well, it doesn't really matter if I bring this back. Let's just do it like this. If I do it like that, there's not going to be room for cracking. Uh, heavy to light. Like so. And... The old S-Bend for... That one. Okay. Where'd my chemical plants go? That doesn't fit there. Hello, Hacks. I had problem with signal receiver transmitter from Narva's orbit to Narva's. The problem was that one of them would stop working for a split second, not because of power, and all of my delivery cannons started blasting. Did something like this with signals happen to you? Uh, not that I know of, although I did actually have a problem like that that was because of power. Which is why I changed the design I was using. Um, so... Well, let's go have a look at this one. The way I've got it set up is... At the transmitter, where we're send... The way I've got it set up is to actively send back a signal when we want something rather than like a zero signal if we want something. Uh, I've got a constant combinator here with one of each resource that we want sent, and the other input for this cider combinator is the delivery cannon chest. So if we didn't have any copper plate, this would be receiving a signal of one copper plate, among other things. So each equal to one output each, and then we just send that home. And on the other end we've got, um, for example, core fragment cryonite has to be greater than zero for us to put the, in this case, delivery cannon capsule into the cannon. How complicated are your signals? Note that signals Changes are processed once per tick, so you might desync math for a few ticks. Desync math? Oh yeah, it, some circuits it all, it, it is possible to make it so that the timing really matters. Um, most of the time it doesn't, but it can be absolutely critical. Uh, that's not going to go there, is it? Why are these not the same? I feel like that should look like that. Then... Should this move over? That's better. Okay. What a... Goes here. Mm 
then... I don't know why I'm bothering with productivity modules, actually. Since we're only going to be taking enough from here to get some fuel to go back home. Right. Let's see how many more pipes we're going to need. Nothing really complicated. One arithmetic and one decider. If I do each times one... Oh, each times negative one, I also place each times one. If you combine multiple sources... I don't think I understand. Also, I definitely need a lot more of these than I thought. Let's count. 82 and an offshore pump. I can only make 10 for the moment. Oh, and this thing is going to need power as well. Um, I think we'll just stick a regular solar panel next to this one. This is taking a surprisingly long time. Okay. And then we'll run power. I should swap this out for more jetpack. No way to fit all of those together. That's fine. A little bit far. Okay. What was I looking for? Solar panels. Well, I only need one or two, but still. Um... Oh, right. I need... Uh... Do I not have any... Why do I have regular electric furnaces? That seems a bit weird for me to be still carrying at this stage. Well, I guess they'll have to do. I don't suppose that's going to get me over the line for the uh, pipes that we need. Hmm. Oh, let's turn the scrap into not scrap. I don't think I brought a recycle. I can make one. It is a recycling facility, right? Scrap becomes... Yeah, recycling facility. Does it have to be these three? It does. Okay. Scrap recycling. I'll be lazy about the heavy oil for now. And probably forever. Um, why don't we do a lazy Omni smelter? So, request a chest. Goes here. Stack filter inserter goes here. Um, I 
Hold on. I don't think we can put the request to chest right here. Regular chest. Stat filter. Constant combinator. Read the chest contents. Uh, set filters blacklist. And... Iron doesn't matter, copper doesn't matter. Um... Stone... Is... You get one. And iron plate... Wait, what am I saying? We're not going to make steel. So I guess it's just the stone that has to be the right amount. So this was overkill. Still, I, I'm surprised I can't remember how to do this off the bat. Um, it's iron plate would be negative four, because so there has to be five in here for it to do something. Stack size has to be greater than or equal to five. That should do it. And then you have to make sure you put exactly the right amount in here in the first place. Which... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is... I think they can have the same filters, but it's whitelist versus blacklist. Uh, iron... Stone... Set filters whitelist. No, that's not quite right. Oh, this one is whitelist. And this one's blacklist. There we go. Except I think I think the stack size for this should probably be one. Okay. Anyway, I don't think that's anywhere near enough iron. Where are we going to get some more? All of this sort of looks like iron. There it is. Got some miners. Where was it? All the way over here. Did I just run out of big poles? Okay. Blueprints. Mining. May as well do it fast. Let's shove it in a chest for now. It doesn't quite reach. That'll get get us there. So how much did I need? Uh, five iron plates plus ten iron plate. Fifteen times like eighty. Wait, really? That's like that can't be right. Ten pipe 
Oh, it's like... It does two of these, so it's like half of that. Uh, ten... Plus five... So seven point five iron plate per underground. Still like six hundred iron. It's an amount. How much have I got? That's almost 500. Except we're not smelting iron right now. Um, can we maybe stop with the stone? Get some speed in here. Much better. And while we're automating things, I guess they may as well. In plate. And let's just put a regular chest here. A's of Oxford. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, this is definitely bottlenecked by bots. No, it's actually bottlenecked by the smelting. Okay. Doing good, thanks. Yeah, not too bad. Uh, just about over the vaccine side effects. My throat is a little sore, but other than that, I'm pretty good now. I actually had, as far as I can remember, the first cold fever I ever had, I woke up to uh, the day after the booster. It was kind of scary, actually. I mean, I'm, get, I'm, I'm sure a cold fever isn't that big of a deal, but I didn't know what was happening. It's pretty weird. Like, uh... It wasn't that cold. The, the ambient temperature was like 22 degrees. I could tell it wasn't cold, you know, just from the feel of the air. Um, but... I was shivering even though I was wrapped in a blanket and stuff. Kind of weird. What happened to... Oh. That would help. I knew there was a, another reason that I thought I had more iron. The only trouble with this um, super basic smelting system is you can't, uh, well, you can, stone, negative, okay, let's just do that. So if I get rid of this, it'll smelt stone bricks again. All right, we're about halfway there. But I was going to die at one point. I can remember after my first injection, I woke up to my heart pounding in my chest. Yikes. I think I was warned of that as, like, a possibility, um... As in, call a hospital if this happens, uh, as one of the possible side effects. But yeah, 
It's not been the most fun couple of weeks or so. <laughs> as soon as I finished up that job, I got sick, and then as soon as I recovered, a little bit after I recovered from being sick, I gotta get the booster. Spent quite a lot of time very, very carefully taking it easy lately. Uh, okay, let's see how many more pipes we need. And I haven't placed a solar panel up here yet, either. That should be more than enough. Especially if I add some storage down the line. Let's turn off the bots for this part. And we'll just do it this way. That's a bit faster. Oh, we're actually pretty close. We need like 10 at the most. And there it is. Hey, Noxyway Gaming. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's see. There we go. Okay. What are we doing here? Um, we're just getting some rocket fuel sorted out so that we can... Well, come to think of it, I... Do we even need petroleum? Uh, we're gonna have to get rid of it anyway. But, we, I don't think we need to crack to petroleum. Uh, let's see. Solid rocket fuel is made, best made out of light oil. Um... It's made in a fuel refinery because it's space exploration. And solid rocket fuel, I think, is made in a chemical plant. Actually, let's do this first. No, it's all made in fuel refineries now, isn't it? And I think it's a 1 to 5 ratio if you don't use... Um, productivity, yeah. I think I'll just not bother with the productivity modules for this, this time. Uh, we need more pipe, of course. Is it for permanent? No, it's literally just so that we can get some fuel to go home. Um, everything else here is permanent, though, except for the fact that I've got this set up to receive ingredients for point defenses, and I foolishly... I forgot the part where the point defenses are not covering this part. So, I either need to do, like, a belt with point defenses going through all the solar panels, or maybe it would be better to, uh... Uh... How much power does this use? Two megawatts. Just sitting there. Uh... We need planetary defenses instead which means this simplest possible system for sending core fragments back is going to have to get a bit bigger. So, anyway, what was I doing? I need the regular pipe. Give me that green chest. Uh, condition... 
regular pipe less than 600. Pipe go here. And why are you not... Oh, we've ran out of iron again. Let's go grab some. Actually, shouldn't there be shouldn't there be a little bit of iron from scrap? I guess it's random. Isn't it faster to use delivery cannon to deliver since not permanent? Uh, the thing is, w the delivery cannon can deliver coal and steel, which is what we need. Where's that mine? Oh, it's way back here. The delivery cannon can deliver... Oh, you mean the fuel? I guess I could have done that. Can it deliver rocket fuel? I think it does. That might be a good idea. That's a lot of iron. We're nearly done making the factory for rocket fuel anyway. Uh, let's go like this. Wait, what? Oh, greater than 200. And pipe is what we need. Thank you very much. Um... But yeah, I guess while I'm here, I may as well design what we actually need for the delivery cannon. Uh, sorry, the uh, media defense installation ammo. The only thing I don't like about this is we need like 8 to 12 of these to, to comfortably stop everything from getting through to the planet. Which puts our minimum power consumption way up. I'm seriously considering a nuclear power solution instead, but then... I guess the only downside is we would need to park this thing close to water. Which on most planets is no problem. Obviously some of them don't have water at all. But if we had a nuclear power reactor to keep all this running, it probably wouldn't have to be very big. We could cover the entire thing with... Oh yeah, look at, look at that range. We could definitely fit it underneath the umbrella of the point defenses. And then we wouldn't have to bother with the media defense. And we could just send... We could request iron plate and uranium-235 to come here. Manufacturing the... Uranium fuel cells. Oh, 238 as well. That's a bit of a nuisance. Um, and then you have to deal with the nuclear waste. What is it called again? Uh, used up uranium fuel cell. That's easy enough. We just put a centrifuge here and turn it into 238. Why not electric boiler over nuclear? Uh, I mean, electric boiler uses power. It's good for storage of power. But we're talking about how to power this base while we're gone. 
Uh, let's grab these pipes and finish this build over here. Oh, also, the amount of rocket fuel is actually quite a lot. Uh, where am I going to put the pipes? Like this. That's going to be a nuisance. Can I not make this nice and neat? Down here. Okay, that's an improvement. Except... How does this part connect? Probably just up here. Up we go. And sub. Fantastic. Okay. Now, how much of this uh, liquid rocket fuel do we still need? Quite a bit. But not so much that I won't just come and pick up the solid rocket fuel. That is surprisingly slow. I guess we actually will need... Oh, no. Heavy oil... Oh. That would probably help. Um, productivity modules are probably not what we need here. Or we could just beacon this. Is that going to keep up with the heavy oil? E Close enough. Don't need this. Although... I guess we could... Turn some of this salt into solid fuel as well. I actually don't have any belts on me. I can't even make, like... Hang on. Four tiles of belt. Let's do this. Efficiency itself. That's weird that it's not keeping up with the solid fuel. Okay, now I see. We're just not making light oil fast enough. Why doesn't that... Oh. Of course. I feel like... Uh, I must have got that part wrong. Oh well. And some water. Uh, could I maybe move 
move this. I need some more pipe. Spider-Tron's at 30%. I didn't actually check the number that it was up to before, but I'm guessing that is all looking okay for now. Uh, let's see. What are we waiting on? Just material science? Is material science still working? I see insights. I see no catalogs. I see no cold. I see no... I do see material testing packs. So it's just being a bit slow. How does it... This is already backed up. Well, it'll get there eventually. Unfortunately, I didn't really leave room to expand this here. I wonder if I could find a way. Doesn't look like it. Hmm. The whole thing is really, really bottlenecking on this one machine. What is all this circuitry here? Oh, I see. That's right, I made a little storage system for this stuff. So that it wouldn't have to wait for random things being nearby on the belt all the time. Except it seems to be doing that for plastic anyway. Still, um, I think we could probably get away with something like this. Question is, how do we get the output where it needs to go? That's no good. Wait, is it even possible? I could move that out of the way. That'll do. Okay. It's on. Couple of inserters. Gonna have to give them some red wire. Uh, what is this thing called again? Material testing pack. And this goes here. Read hand contents pulse. And that will do. I could also add some long arms to make it a bit more effective and reliable. Give it a bit of speed. And there we go.
That should get our Spidertron to 100% a little bit sooner. Right, what was I waiting on? Pipes? I think. It was uh, underground pipes. Okay. That should help a little bit. That's probably going to be a problem with the heavy oil. By the time it's full, it's this whole thing's going to be finished. That's a decent amount of rocket fuel. And give that to the bots. I don't think it's going to be too much longer. Uh, so it was like 68 or something, right? With the productivity bonus. 1.24 times 50. 62 for solid rocket fuel. And we need 30k. About 500. So that is going to take a minute. So a couple of possibilities for this. We could... Do it this way, like we've already done. Request uh, two types of uranium and iron plate, as well as this stuff, to the delivery cannon chest. We could put another delivery cannon chest up here, if that's easier. Connect it to the same system. Or we could just belt this over here. Or here. Um, small nuclear reactor here. I wonder how small we could get the nuclear reactor to support this stuff. I just made my first Deep Space Science 1. Sounds pub. Yeah, we either do the point defense and run it off of nuclear power. Or, um, if we do the media defense installation, it requires so much power to protect the whole planet, though. And we have to make batteries. I don't really want to have to do that. We'll try the nuclear system next time. Right. So once we're all fueled... Is that all the rocket fuel gone already? We only got like... 7,000 or something. Take another load over. Also, let's check how much power we've been needing here. Accumulators... Haven't been in use much lately. Of 
charcoal mining drill is being used on and off because we're bottlenecking on the delivery cannon to go home. That looks like that was already ready. Oh yeah, it takes like... Oh, it's got a recharge. I knew it took a few seconds to recharge, but I never thought about just how much power it would require. Not that that's turning into a problem. Hello? How do you disable inserters so that it does not send the resource using the delivery turret? Uh... Viash... Viashus slave? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. The way I do that is... We have... Uh, core fragment has to be greater than zero on this signal. And this receiver is pointed at... Um... A transmitter just like this one. The transmitter is connected up to a delivery cannon chest or several delivery cannon chests sometimes. And I've set it up so that if we were to lose power or something, we're not going to keep sending stuff. So if we send a signal that says copper plate, for example, it means we are allowed to send copper plate to this chest. Uh, so in this case, it's Core Fragment Cryonite. And for each item that we want to get sent here, uh, we've got a list of those in a constant combinator with a value of 1. The reason for that is there's no way to say for each thing equal to 0, send that through, because 0 is just no signal. So we say each equal to one, send that signal. If there's anything, if there's any coal in this chest, for example, then coal is not equal to one on this combinator. Therefore, we will not be sending a signal asking for coal. Just to illustrate it a bit better, uh, here is the other end of it. This is where the cryonite uh, core fragments arrive, and all of these chests, uh, delivery cannon chests rather, are connected to this uh, transmitter right here, and we're doing the same thing as I just showed you. Um, these are all of the resources that we're currently sending to this place. And it's, uh, the combinator is currently outputting, uh, all of them, I think, because none of these chests are actually full. Well, I say full, but, um, we're going to just keep them empty. If there's anything at all in this chest, then we're going to consider this one to be, like, overflowing and not send any delivery cannons, even though it could fit 40 stacks. Because we might scale this up so that we have many cannons pointing at some of these chests. Um, so if we have like 10 of them shoot at once, we don't want to be... We just want to wait till this is empty. We don't want to try and be too clever with exactly how many we send at once. Uh, anyway, I think it is probably about time to go back and... Uh, build a system on Nalvis for processing these new core fragments. Probably pretty close to having enough um, rocket fuel for that. And I need to fix that train as well. I'm very sad that after literally tens and tens of hours with no problems... Uh, we still get an issue like that pop up. And unfortunately, there's no way I can deal with it remotely. 
Not without a Spider-Tron, that is. If I had a Spider-Tron, I would mark some of these for deconstruction. Wait. So that... What? Oh, that's fine. That shouldn't be full, but that's okay. Actually, no, that's... That's a bit weird as well. I'll have to double check that one. Maybe it was the other one of these that I was looking at earlier. Yeah, here it is. I need to take what? 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 Wait, what? Oh, it got dropped on the ground. Okay, I was not expecting to be able to do this remotely. Um... It's all getting dropped down here and marked for pickup by bots. Okay, so all of those inserter arm hands are empty. Uh, are you only carrying Vulcanite? You are not. Get out of here. Next train shouldn't have any problems. Well, that was a useful thing to figure out. I can remotely take stuff out of inserter's hands. And there is the precise loading system that I just described earlier. Working perfectly. Don't know how this happens like one time out of a thousand. Anyway, I'll go and have another look at this as well before we get going. We're very close. Let's get a little bit more rocket... actually... No, I need this rocket fuel for flying. It automatically fires itself... fixes itself if two trains with the same requests come one after another. Um, it could... But the train will never actually leave by itself because um, because I've got it set to ask for exactly a full train load. And we're ready to go. Okay, have I remembered everything, at least for now? Unfortunately, we've got this only defended with the point defenses, which means 99% of this solar is not covered. It will eventually take some damage and we'll have to come and do something about it. Um, the next iteration of this, I think I'll do two different versions of it. Uh, we'll have a version that runs off of nuclear power, we'll send the iron and uranium here, and why is this sticking out here? Uh, we'll keep the nuclear power under the umbrella of the point defenses. And the other version will use the media defense installations. It'll take a lot more power and we'll need some infrastructure to supply sulfuric acid and make batteries. Um, just so that we can make the ammo because we can't send batteries by delivery cannon for some reason. Which is a little surprising considering we can safely send explosives. Um, we could of course send barrels of sulfuric acid but then we have to deal with the barrels that are left over. We could turn it back into steel 
and send it back or something. I I don't know. That sounds like even more of a hassle. Anyway, I think that will do for now. Um, I may as well leave as much stuff here as possible. Just in case I want the robots to build some stuff uh, remotely. Anything that we're mass producing that'll automatically come back to my inventory. Don't need the life support canisters though. Or the med packs over here. Cliff explosives, sure. Glacier ammo should not stay here. Don't need lasers. Okay. Uh, Hagen, it's been fun. We'll all see you again soon. Some explosives are pretty stable. That's why they were made. Plastic explosives are hard to set off. Fair enough. Okay. I did an outpost with nuclear and small defense. Six delivery cannons. If you want, I can share it. Sure, by all means. Also, Creakly. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think I missed saying that earlier. Travel. Oh, and Veldak traveled outside of the solar system. Fuck. Uh, where are we? I wanted to have. I, I don't want to forget this first um, before I get the logistics things back. Whoop, did I just run out of fuel? Am I doing the walk of shame? Does this thing have more fuel in it somehow? Nope. Walk of shame it is. Let's call a taxi. That... I left over here, actually. Whoops. Uh, walk of shame it is. What is this train doing? What? Something is not right. That seems problematic. Um, let's get a jetpack before we try and figure this part out. Post it on your DC. DC. We go. Well, welcome. Weekly outpost. Oh, okay. Let's get the blueprint bot to show it if we can. I think I would have to download the text to do that. Can I just no? There we go. BP this. Blueprint bot is thinking. Oh hey, there's that taxi. And it's looking a bit stuck. Not 100% balanced and optimized, that's fine. Oh, wow. So we got the nuclear. We got some solar. And we've got a bunch of stuff that the uh, blueprint bot doesn't recognize because it's not vanilla. I 
have to take a closer look in a bit. Alright, let's turn on our logistics, shall we? Really should have let the bots bring me stuff. Um, after emptying my inventory, should have realized something like this would happen. I don't want to run out of the network and have a bunch of bots turn around. While we're waiting, here's that lovely uh, combinatorless sushi belt system. Uh, where is that blueprint? Sushi... Not that one. Oh, is that it? Sp Splitier Sushi. I thought I recorded the name of the person who gave it to me. In any case, it is quite the thing. Basically the splitters are set up so that you'll only ever get a quarter belt of red signs onto this belt. Uh, a quarter of one half belt, I think it was. And considering the seven types of signs usually, that works out pretty well. Wait, I removed the things not SE included. I play with K2 also. Ah, okay. You always lose the delivery capsule when firing it, right? Uh, yes, that's correct. Uh, Mamas. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, did we get our rocket fuel? We got, we got our rocket fuel. Actually, I'll let the bots do their thing there and try and figure out what's going on with the trains. Um, wow, this... This is a pretty big jam. I wonder where it begins. What? What? You just want to go here. Why are you trying to go to the same... Oh, Is this it? Copper ore? Huh? You came here for 1k copper ore. And I think this is the system whereby whatever is in the robo-network is considered available. Yeah. So how... How did this train come here for copper ore that was reported by the robo-network? And then it didn't arrive here. We don't have a system for eating up that copper, do we? That's kind of weird. You're looking for just a single capsule. Let's see this thing in motion. So... Wait, where'd it go? So the train has arrived, we're requesting the space capsule. Reposted it, I removed big warehouses, bigger tanks for the nucleus. Oh, uh, the blueprint bot won't recognize like any of that stuff outside of uh, 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 vanilla. Um, but yeah, if you want me to, let's see, grab this, import, now what's the problem, uh, input blueprint, Oh, 
What do we got? Oh yeah, an umbrella. That might be useful. Doing some core fragment processing on this. Oh no, those are cannons. Uh, big defenses. Roboports. Lots of power. I'm guessing there's some warehouse stuff over here. So it's solar powered, but we're using electric to make steam. No, we've got the nuclear plants. So this is like a backup. If anything. But yeah, point defenses might be the way to go. Point defenses and nuclear makes a lot of sense. It depends also on how efficient solar is, like how close to the center of the solar system it is. Solar is just for the supply of nuclear? Yeah. Okay. This again? No, it's definitely going to manage to bring that this time. So, let's see. Trains are... Looks like they're all in motion now. So, what this system down here does is... Outputs the logistic network contents to LTN. So, anything that's in this logistic network is considered available for pickup. And then once the train actually gets here, we read what the train is asking for, set the logistic requests here, and the rest is just to make sure we put the right stuff in the train. And we've got a little bit of storage here. Why have they used uranium fuel cells here, though? That's pretty weird. That's very weird, actually. And logistic bots. I, I'm very confused as to why there would be used up uranium fuel cells in here. So the idea is uh, anything that is left in this chest after the, after the train leaves, we shove it in here. But rather than just have it sent back into the robo network, I decided to have a couple of passive provider chests here just so that stuff that gets used often would just go back into this. But what I'm really curious about, other than how did used up uranium fuel cells get here, is um, how did we end up having a small train come here for uh, more copper ore than was available in the logistic network. I, I'm pretty sure in this whole thing here, there's nothing smelting copper from the logistic network. I could be wrong. There's a recycler here, but that's making copper, if anything. Maybe it was, like, in my trash slots and considered part of the logistic network or something. Oh, well. 
let's get back to what I wanted to be the first thing when I get back here. Um, have a look at the way this circuit is done. So... To limit the items in here, each divided by negative 24, output each, set filters, blacklist. That should mean... Ah, that's right. Yeah, we're keeping the same amount of vulcanite in each chest and the same amount of uranium. That doesn't mean we won't eventually overfill it if it's not taken away. That makes sense. As for the actual loading of the train, we start with uh, what LTN is, what the train is asking for from LTN. Um, subtract what is already in the train. From there, we remove these signals. And then each divided by 24, output each, and output S for stack size. Every single one of these uh, filter inserters get given that. So at first, all of them swing. When it gets low enough that when it's less than 24, it switches over to just one inserter per cargo wagon. That's this one, this one, this one, and this one. And the stack size is zero because we just don't bother sending this. If we are setting the stack size and there's no control signal coming in, it just defaults to one. So each less than 24 output each one. You can see the remaining amount of copper to put in and the stack size going down here. And then once we get low enough, only one inserter, stack size of one. It's much more robust and reliable than a previous system I've built. It really does lead me to wonder how we end up with this situation. I think it's probably a function of the train somehow coming here with some of the wrong resource in it to begin with. Though I don't know how that would have happened either. Can you... Oh, and we've got that minor problem whereby... For some reason, if the train does arrive with the wrong resource in it... LTN, uh, the logistic train stop output, unfortunately outputs the that other resource as well, when all we want to know is what is supposed to be being put in the train. So it's going to put in more iron. I literally can't stop it from doing that right now. Uh, just go back to the depot. Empty these so it doesn't happen to the next train. I think as well, if a train came here empty but an arm was sticking out, it might do the same thing with the logistic train stop output. The thing that's frustrating about this is... We build a system like this, test it, watch it for a while, let it run literally for hours and hours, and nothing goes wrong, and then eventually this happens again. And I don't know what I could possibly set up to somehow alert me or warn me if that was going to happen. It could have happened if the depots ended up overwhelmed and the trash stuff wasn't getting taken away fast enough, but I don't see why that would have happened 
and apart from f literally five items here, there's nothing in the trash train system. Except that there's always some um, of this. Hmm. Trying to work out logistics for mining in an asteroid belt, and it doesn't seem worth it to transfer for transfer costs. Probably have to scale up, maybe. All right, let's go back. It's about time to build a rail block for uh, dealing with the cryonite. I think I'd like to have it relatively close to this one. That'll be a shorter trip. Uh, where's my rail block? There it is. What was that sound? The delivery capsules look like they cost about 25 ore. Prod module 3. But only transfer 50. Um, yeah, it'd probably be more efficient if you turn... It, it transfers one stack, so... If you turn it into copper plate, for example, it's going to be a lot more efficient. With better prod modules or something in space or iridium, it would be a lot better. Yeah, or if you use uh, cargo rockets, that's much more efficient, but a much bigger headache. Um, I think there's some... Uh, I think there's some, like, single stage to orbit kind of stuff later on. Uh, that... Basically, it only costs fuel. Okay, let's get started on this block. And... I, uh, I should have picked up pulverizers. We'll start with this part anyway, and we'll do the usual output down here. I guess while I'm here I can at least build the rail parts. I think cargo rockets become cheaper than delivery capsules at roughly 50% recovery tech. Uh, Possibly. I don't know the ratio myself. And over here. Goes there, I think. Station goes here, and here. And what are we doing? Just core fragments. Cryonite core fragments. That is five, isn't it? This way, I think. I don't 
forget the wiring. template for where is it rail that's not ltn there we go uh standard drop off 160 stacks long train one train at a time and the thing that we're actually asking for what is this stack to I believe it's a hundred. Let's see. Yep, one hundred. Fragment Cronite. Uh a couple of train loads. And I don't know if we've got enough. Uh, hold on, let's turn that off for a sec. Core fragment. Uh, requester. Wait, what? That was the ice one, wasn't it? Yeah, core fragment cryonite. Oh. And I'm guessing we do not, in fact, have 16,000 of these just yet. Oh, maybe. 21k. So why is it taking this long for a train to be scheduled here? Oh, there it goes. I think cargo rockets... Oh, that's right. Okay. Okay. Let's go grab some pulverizers. Let's go grab them even faster than this. Oh, that's right. I wanted to grab some batteries for the thruster suit as well. Where did we automate that stuff? Right about here. Uh, thrust a suit. Where should I put them? Four of these is actually quite a lot. That should be fine. This is probably super duper excessive, but whatever. Okay. Uh, Christy, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How many hours are in this save? Uh, quite a lot. Uh, nearly 14 days. Although I have sort of taken my time on some of it and done some of it off stream. Uh, what else was I going to do? Pulverizers. Pulverizers. Can I remember where they are, or should I do a request? There they are. And we might need a lot of them. Actually, let's just make sure I'm not doing this silly thing. I have 20 days, 19 hours. Nice. Alright, let's roll. Wait, can I get a better... Maybe I should make another thruster suit. I would probably fly around slightly faster, right? Instead of power armor.
not going to be needing this cliff. Also, don't make this mistake again. Oh, the ghost is there, we just didn't bring enough rail. Alright, we've got our four fragments. Uh, it is indeed... Regular core fragment, cryonite, and stone. Maybe I should have... Washed cryonite. Crushed cryonite. I didn't bring enough chemical plants to make as many of these as I'd prefer, but um, we could maybe process the cryonite here. Is it more or less uh, space efficient as cryonite or the final product? I'm thinking probably as the final product. Also, we produce stone out of this, which we need to get rid of from here anyway. So we may as well do that. I think I remember this ratio being reasonable. It is not. It was probably this without the productivity modules. Yeah. Okay. I definitely want to use the prods. So this is going to be a little bit different. It net consumes water, of course. But we need this to be connected. And... Not entirely full. Wonder how the guys from Reddit got through 300 hours? Got through? What? Where's the final washed cryonite? Is... Oh, it goes into a smelter. That's right, I remember having that as part of the Omni smelters, but we weren't actually bringing the cryonite here regularly. Um, I think I'm pretty happy with the Omni smelters as they are. And I did say, trying to deal with, and unless you use bot spam, um, trying to deal with too many resources at once with Omni smelters. It doesn't really work. You're going to have to end up using a ton of space. Uh, so I think we'll probably just do the smelting here. I'm kind of surprised I don't have any... I should start carrying a stack of industrial furnaces, as a matter of course. Oops. I was actually surprised that I wasn't carrying them before. And we're going to need more chemical plants as well. Uh, I'll keep the pulverizers for now. Oh, and I should pick up that train that has all the... Uh, all the things for building as well. Spidertron's at 50%. Very exciting. Furnaces. There we go. And what else? Well, we're probably going to need more. So let's bump that request up. That's probably pretty excessive. All right, let's go. Build a train. Back over this way, please. Can't travel there yet. 
Um, inactivity, f 10 minutes or something. Five minutes. Oh, completed the game. Uh, it would be a lot of work. I mean, I've I've seen, I've seen some of the planning that goes into a vanilla Factorio speed run from people who are serious about it. Thinking about what it would take to do a speed run for space exploration is uh, pretty daunting. Not gonna lie. Okay, uh, so we're going to have a furnace doing cryonite buds. Wait, did I check? I'm pretty sure cryonite rods are the only finished product, uh, the only product that we need out of this, right? Crushed cryonite goes into washed cryonite. Washed cryonite goes into cryonite rod. Cryonite rod goes into many things. Okay. This would, of course, be way too easy for the ratio. Um, so what is the ratio for these? Uh, this is 1.05 crushed cryonite per second. Should I do them in separate blocks? We'll see. Well, considering that all of the cryonite on this planet is going to be arriving in the form of uh, core fragments, then I suppose not. So this is 1.05 crushed per second. This uses 0.8. We're going to, going to need a large number for a common denominator here. Let's see. Need a multiple of 1.05. 3.2 is not going to be it. That's actually not that bad. As long as we don't mind being bottlenecked on the crushed cryonite. Three of these to four of these. see. I wish I could keep a pair of these next to each other. We need a bit over a round number. Fifteen point two. I don't like this. Seven point two, maybe? 7.39. Uh, it's not going to be a great ratio. If we can... Oh, that's 15.84. Can we go just over? 19. 20. What about 20? Exactly 20. Okay, 25 of these to 19 of these. Those are not even numbers. Also, these things are very big. We can only fit 14 of these that way. I think we're just going to have to not worry about the ratio here too much. Alright, well, first things first, let's just start with the shape of this part. I'm giving serious thought to, um, to just having a block for this part at this rate. It's going to output four thing, oh, three things already. Core fragments, cryonite, and stone. 
I could do a shared output. Let's just double check. Cryonite itself only goes into crushed cryonite. And how did I shape this thing before? It's pretty straightforward. We don't have to output fluids from this one though, so that's easy. I could either do three output belts or I think it would probably be easier to um uh, point four per second. Beacon in the middle. Has to be like this. And where's the substation gonna go? Unfortunately, it won't reach to both sides. I could. Maybe. Why do I have no belts? Oh, because I got rid of the requests for them. That would make sense. Okay. Wait, what? Where are you going? I thought I set that to, like, five minutes of inactivity. So, the moment I picked that stuff up, it should have had to wait all over again. Just stay there, please. But what I'm thinking is, if we do a squiggly belt down this side... Two, one, two. Like that. Maybe move that down a tile. Auto save. That'll get everything covered by substations, right? Except these don't reach each other. Oh, the tragedy. That's unfortunate. We'll just have to... have them connect up down below or above or something. Um, so that just leaves... over here. It's not quite right. And output go burn. And we'll filter the um Uh, filter the output somewhere else. Snap to grid relative. Offset width. And there we go. Actually, yeah, I'll keep that in my inventory. It's not going to be a long-term blueprint. How many of these can I fit? Oh, 
five. In that case, let's get this part lined up with the middle. That looks pretty good. Uh, gonna have to in the way. How dare you! Well, it pretty much can only be in the middle. Make sure we have room for the belts. If I can find them. Balanced unloaders. Combinatorless. And... Over here as well. And how many input belts do we have? I think it was six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I don't really want to be uh, want to do a big merger splitter. Might have to. Four to six, maybe? I think this one doesn't have throughput unlimited. I need to take a four to eight and then cut off a couple of the outputs. I don't really want to do that, though. It's so big. Could just... Oh, that's right. I think we did the same thing over here. How many inputs does this have? One, two, three, four, five. And that would be six. Let's have a look at what we did there. So, read belt contents hold. Stop if there's any. Uh, enabled if there's some core fragments here. So there has to be something here for this to move. There has to be something here for this to move. Output priority is in the middle. Two belts from that side, two belts from that side. Wait, where did it go? Yeah, I think I'm going to copy this. So, two belts come from here, two belts come from here. The priority is the middle. And the middle gets split. I think there's more to this than I copied. So, middle gets split out to all of these evenly. Well, it's... It's going to bias towards these two, isn't it? Or this one, in this case. So it's kind of prioritizing, it's hard prioritizing pushing stuff t through the middle if there's nothing coming from the other side. What are you trying to make? Hey, even Shady. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I just wanted sort of a, it's not that important like that it's perfectly balanced or anything. Um, but we're splitting these uh, possibly four inputs into, I think it's six. Four, five, six. Uh, but I don't want a giant um, 
I'm gonna have to move all of these. That's unfortunate. But not that big a deal. Um, basically we're just splitting this into this, which is four to six. I'm definitely going to copy what we already have from the other place. Hmm. I have one weird trick that might help with this. Nope, that was too quick. There we go. Even distribution has now put half of it over there. I should probably make some more room in my inventory. Now uh, we're cooking. Okay. And this as well. Just put it into red belts. Two blue belts is three reds. That's a point. Yeah, I never thought of that. That's clever. Uh, let's see. This one... goes here. And this one is... left. And then... I don't want to copy the train stop. Let's just put this down here for the moment. Don't need the combinators or lights either. Don't know why there were walls there. Okay, that should be fine. Huh? Uh... What? The Combinator I can move, but... Oh, I see. This is not as close to the middle. Uh, that means I would... Okay, pick a dollies means I could move all of this. Wait, what? Logistic train stop doesn't support moving? Regular train stop does. Okay. Alexa the depressed bonk. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, I've actually gone a bit over time. Alright, alright. Um, surprised I didn't notice, because I would have thought my throat would be getting sore by now. Alright, it's, uh, it's a bit past time to wrap up for today. I'll find a stream to raid. Bear with me just a moment. And the bunk train continues. Nope. Whoa. Oh, oh, also, let me make sure I didn't oh, miss something in go. chat. No, I think we're good. Good sign that you're recovering? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think it's been a minute since we raided Nyron War, so let's get that done. 
Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of the Blueprints if you're interested. If you have any questions or anything, by all means, let me know. And thanks for stopping by. Take care, guys. Rush over and be like, we need to use this power and plug in the... Uh... You're working on the core miners right now.